What's up guys, welcome back to HMHT, my name is Ben, your host, and today when it comes to watchOS, I would like to let you know that we now have the next point update for watchOS 8, which is watchOS 8.1. So the first developer beta is just released today, and I'm actually updating on a developer beta. So if you are a public beta tester, this update might not be available for you today. Check your update page again tomorrow or the following day after as it could be delayed for public beta testers now you can see for me on my apple watch series 6 that i'm updating here that the update size came in at exactly 335 megabytes and i was updating from watchOS 8 the official release obviously this is not all that apple released today this is my iphone that you are seeing here and these are just iphone 13 wallpapers that you are seeing so if you want them I can always provide them to you in the comment section of this video do let me know and i want to show you some other updates that apple released today if we go to the apple developer page so you can see that finally when it comes to operating system mac os 12 beta 7 has been released today and also shareplay development profile was released today as well as ios 15.1 and ipad os 15.1 beta 1 and also we got watchOS 8.1 of course this is the video for this and tvOS 15.1 most of these updates i'm going to be covering here on the channel so if you haven't subscribed a sub to the channel will keep you up to date with most of these updates now when it comes to my apple watch i've already updated it as you saw from the introduction of this video and if we go into settings and go to general and go to the about you will see a scary build number that we have and you can see the new build number that it's 19r 5541f so we went from a final build to a build number that uh, and that has an f at the end and in terms of stability it just goes to show you that this watchOS 8.1 beta 1 is highly unstable in terms of the new features and new changes that came with watchOS 8.1 let me show you the first new change that i noticed here so if you go to your watch selector here and create a new watch face first the first time you actually go to this page you will notice a black screen where it says new watch faces since technically watchOS 8.1 doesn't introduce new watch faces I already checked that but initially for me it was showing a black screen but after that it still so shows the same watch faces that came with watchOS 8 so it's uh, up updated itself uh, apparently and you can see that the selectors and the same watch faces are the same as what we got on watchOS 8 and then also I want to show you a screen that has been removed so on my device here if I go to YouTube and actually play a specific video unlike before so you can see this video that's playing and you see here that the now playing screen has changed before you could scroll and see what's playing on the watch and which device but that screen has been removed we now have the same screen as it was before on watch OS 7 which is kind of unfortunate now also something else that i want to show you when it comes to watch OS 8.1 that has been updated and this is going to depend on your region if you go to the wallet app very soon you have the ability to actually be able to add your immunization record and that includes COVID-19 records to your wallet app so you'll be able to go into your health application on the iPhone and go in and add your immunization record and that will appear in your wallet app on the iphone and just to show you a picture of how this is going to look like it's technically going to look like this so once you put your information in your health app it will appear in your wallet app and in the wallet app it will basically look like a qr code so let me see if i can show you one i guess i took out one of the qr codes that i had here but it's basically going to be one of the things that you can scroll around and show but if your region isn't yet supported don't fear as this is something that just that was just introduced with watchOS 8.1 and iOS 15.1 so give it some time and your region could be added 
also something that's going to be coming very soon to watch os 8.1 for those that have the u1 chip the ultra wideband chip is car key support for genesis cars which are going to be like an addition to like the bmw cars that are already supported so that is something that is going to also be coming now mostly or mainly these are the new features and changes that i managed to pick in the short time that i had been using uh watch os 8.1 i think i was using it for like four hours trying to see what's changed and uh, what are the new features and changes and you can see that there isn't a ton apple basically says that this version includes bug fixes and improvements and this is the beta version and should be taken as such so mainly not many new features and changes you can see that just some changes have been reverted back to what we used to have addition of car keys new watch face selector and immunization records in the wallet app coming very soon so those are the new features and changes when it comes to the bugs that i have experienced so far since uh, the time i've been using this update the first one has to do with the connection to the iphone so initially on the iphone i would go into the watch app and it would tell me that your wi-fi needs to be enabled and your bluetooth needs to be enabled in order to use this um in order for like your iphone to communicate with your apple watch and i would check and see that you know they are both on so what i did was just power cycle my both of my devices my iphone and my apple watch and then after that make sure you re also connect your wi-fi and bluetooth and after that the notification went away so that could be a bug that you might see after you update now other than that performance wise it still feels the same as watch os 8 although i notice when selecting sometimes different watch faces it might be a little bit slow to um, load but i had already gone through most of these watch faces and that's why you see that they are so smooth and so fast now that's how it is and performance so far i haven't had any hiccup but if i do i might do a follow-up video or update you on my twitter handles now other than that that's about it for me if you like this video please leave a like down below and stay safe and i'll definitely see you in the next video peace